What's up everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Olivia and today I'm sharing the long-awaited 2021 fall clean and decorate with me. This is going to be part one of my fall decorating series so you can expect to see more fall decorating videos over the next few weeks so make sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out. Every year I try to do better than the last and I'm happy to say that this year blew all previous years out of the water. My decorating style is between, I would say, modern farmhouse and a little bit of rustic glam. I love to incorporate unique and one-of-a-kind pieces, but of course, add a few statement pieces as well. If you guys have been waiting for this video and are excited to see how I decorate my home for fall 2021, then make sure to give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and let's start decorating. This wouldn't be a fall clean and decorate with me if we didn't set the mood. We need to start out by playing our favorite fall movie and this year I chose Halloween Town because it is a must watch every year and we also need to set the mood and fill our home with all the fall scents. Usually candles are my go-to but this year I decided to try out a simmer pot and oh my goodness I am so glad that I did. If you take away anything from today's video please let this be it. These are so simple to make and Pinterest actually has a ton of recipes. I have a few pinned on my Pinterest page, so if you wanna go check them out, I will leave my Pinterest handle up here on the screen as well as down below in the description box. But today I chose to go all out and use a lot of different ingredients because there is nothing better than filling your home with all things fall. To make the simmer pot that I'm doing today, I just added six cups of water to a pot. I made sure to turn it on high heat and then I added all of my ingredients. One thing I forgot to share was vanilla. I last minute decided to add a few drops and I'm really glad that I did. And once the pot came to a boil, I turned the heat down to low and I just let it simmer for the next few hours while I decorated. This, I can tell you, really motivated me and immediately put me in the fall spirit and I just cannot wait to try a few other simmer pots and different recipes. Let me know down below in the comments if you guys have tried a simmer pot or if you'll definitely be doing it this year. Everything that I added to my simmer pot, first off was an orange. I did cut it up into slices and then the two ends I did squeeze to really bring out that citrus scent. I also added a whole apple, some cinnamon sticks. There was a dash of cinnamon in there as well, some whole cloves, pumpkin spice seasoning, and a little bit of vanilla. I don't think you can really go wrong with any ingredients if you just stick to the basics. I'm sure if you have an orange or maybe an apple on hand and you add some cinnamon or vanilla, you could really make this at home right Right now you don't necessarily need to go out and buy a bunch of new ingredients just be creative and if you really need some ideas head over to Pinterest Now that the simmer pot is all ready to go, I'm just gonna go ahead and clean off our kitchen island, wipe it down, and then use it to lay out all of my fall decor. Today we are gonna be focusing on the main living room area, and whenever I decorate, I always like to make sure and lay out my fall decor and just take it out of the bins because I really wanna make sure I can see everything and know exactly what I'm working with. So that is just a quick little tip in case any of you struggle to decorate. It really helps to lay everything out just so you can see and envision how you want it to come together. As I get older, my decorating style has certainly changed. Let me know down below in the comments if you can relate to that. Last year and this year, I've been really careful when I purchase any new decor because I just wanna make sure I'm gonna be able to use it for years to come and not get tired of it. I think this year, whatever I don't end up using, I'm gonna try and donate. I didn't do that last year and I found myself gravitating towards the same pieces or the new decor pieces that I purchased this year. And there's just really no point in me hanging on to stuff that I'm no longer using. Here is just a quick overview of everything that I'm working with today. I did keep all of my pumpkins in a dedicated bin because there are just so many and I can still see all of them. They're in a clear bin. And if I need a pumpkin, I know exactly where to go. 
whenever I decorate for different seasons, I always love to go straight to our TV stand because I just feel like it's the main focus. But comment down below and let me know what your favorite place is to decorate every season in your home. What is your first go-to place? In our first apartment we lived in, I had a fireplace and a mantle, and I do definitely miss that so much. And I hope whenever Marshall and I are able to buy a house, it has a fireplace or hopefully we can add one because I love the look and it was so much fun to decorate. But anyways, I've had this leaf garland, I think going on three or four years now. It is from Hobby Lobby and I will do my best to link everything down below in the description box and just try to share where things are from in case any of you wanna purchase something for yourself. For some reason, I was just not loving how the garland was turning out. It wouldn't bend the way that I wanted it to, and it also wouldn't stay in place. So you will see me struggle a little bit, and eventually I ended up just leaving it and starting on a new area. This happens from time to time when I decorate, and I've learned that if I try to power through it and keep working on the same area over and over, in the end, I don't end up liking anything or I get really frustrated. So whenever I get to a place where things are just not going my way or turning out the way that I envision them, I just move on to a new area and then come back to that spot later on. And I promise you it makes all the difference. So with that being said, I am now moving over to the couch and coffee table area. I'm just clearing up a few things and then I'm going to wipe it down with my Mrs. Meyer spray in the acorn scent. And that is what I will be using throughout today's video. I get all of my cleaning products from Grove Collaborative in case any of you guys are curious. And if you are a first time customer, head to my description box right now and click on the link because you can get a free bundle of choice with a $20 purchase. No strings are attached. You simply just need to spend $20 and Grove will also send you a free cleaning bundle that I believe you get to choose. So if you've been wanting some fall cleaning scents, now is the time to do it. But anyways, moving right along, I debated whether or not I wanted to keep this wooden sign above our couch. You guys know I recently shared a DIY farmhouse fall sign video that I will link up here in the cards as well as down below in the description box in case you guys want to check it out. But Ultimately, I really love this sign where it is, so I decided to keep it here and I just added a few fall floral stems. Again, these are from Hobby Lobby and will be linked down below in the description box. Moving on to our couch and the level of excitement I have to decorate this space is on another level. Last year during fall time, we were still waiting on our couch to be delivered. So we just had that small two seater red couch, which it served its purpose, but this is the first time I'm being able to decorate it for fall and I am so excited. I'm first just gonna kind of straighten up the couch cushions, rotate them a bit, and then give this area a really good vacuum, and then we can start adding in all of the fall touches. I don't believe I mentioned this yet, but make sure to stay tuned until the very end of today's video because I will be sharing a fall home tour of our living room area and share close-up shots of how everything turned out. I shared these pillow covers in my 2021 fall decorating ideas video and my fall haul that I shared earlier this month. And if you haven't watched that video, make sure to go check it out. I will have it linked up here in the cards as well as down in the description box. But in that video, I just share all of the new fall finds that I picked up this year in great detail. And I also shared all of the prices. But anyways, these pillow covers are my favorite find of the season, hands down. They are from Amazon, which is great for all Prime members. You can get it within two days. And I just cannot believe the quality of them. And I will 100% be purchasing other colors for the different seasons. And if you purchase anything from today's video, I recommend you purchase these pillow covers because you will not be disappointed, I promise. 
Again, these will be linked down below. I just paired these pillows with the larger dark gray pillows that came with our couch. Unfortunately, I can't link those. And then in the middle section, I just added a cozy fall throw blanket that I crocheted a few years ago. And then this adorable rustic lamb pumpkin pillow that I've had for several years now, and it is from Home Goods. We are moving back to the TV stand to give it another go now that my creative juices are starting to flow. I decided to keep this similar to last year and I used the wooden candlesticks that I picked up from Dollar General and then I placed a pumpkin and a candle on top of each. And candlesticks are not always meant for candles so just keep that in mind. This is a great way to add height to something or an area that you're struggling to decorate. On the other side of my TV stand, I went ahead and added this wooden stand to add again some height and then I put an amber glass vase from Hobby Lobby on top of it. I also added a few wheat stems and some wicker pumpkin picks. The wheat stems that I'm using today are actually from Home Goods last year, but I will do my best to link a very similar bundle down below in my description box. As far as garland goes, realistic garland can get pretty spendy, I'm sure most of you know. And like I mentioned earlier, my decorating style has definitely changed over the years. So when I bought this garland, I kind of went the cheap route and this strand I think specifically was around $7 on sale, I think. And then I just use real pine cones, acorns, small berries, some sticks to really make it look more real. I also bought a pack of single leaves that have a slight shimmer to them and it just really makes this garland pop and have some dimension. This wooden bowl that I'm decorating now was a Target find. I actually found it at a thrift store, which is awesome because it was so discounted, but it is the Threshold brand. And I'm not sure how old it is, but you might be able to find it in store at Target. If I can find it online, I will try to link it down below or link a very similar option. But I decided to add in these wicker pumpkins from Hobby Lobby. They're technically floral picks, I think. They have a stem and originally I was gonna cut off the stem, but I didn't for two reasons. One, well, I may down the road decide to use these in an actual floral arrangement or maybe a wreath of some sort and I'll want the stem. But also reason two, because while I was kind of playing around with this, I discovered the stems actually help kind of hold the pumpkins up. And so in once place. I got the pumpkins where I wanted them, I just added a few faux floral picks to complete the look. So now to decorate the coffee table, I mentioned this a month or two ago, but our coffee table actually came from my mom and we sanded it down, restained it a darker color, and it's actually from my childhood. This was the coffee table that my parents had while my sister and I were growing up, and I think it fits this space perfectly, and I'm really happy to have it in our home. I do think I need to get a different tray though because the wood tones kind of clash a little bit, but for now, this is what I have, and I'm just placing a few books, a couple new vases, and a candle here in this space. And I like to decorate in odd numbers, so that's something to keep in mind if you're kind of struggling to make a space work. Try maybe three pieces or five pieces depending on the size of area or space that you're trying to decorate. This wouldn't be a decorating video if I didn't switch out my symbol on the welcome sign and also add a decorative fall pillow in this basket. I decided to keep the neutral throw in the basket that I had rather than switching it to the multicolored throw that I used last year, just because the burnt orange pillow is already a huge statement in this space and I just don't want it to be too much going on in one area. It's also time to switch out my sign for this fall farm fresh pumpkin sign that I made myself. I am obsessed with it and I am so proud. Again, if you want to see how I made this sign and some other signs, I will link the video down below in the description box. 
You will see me test out a few different things in this area and ultimately I ended up leaving the seagrass tote and I just switched out the florals from spring florals to more of a fall statement. I had placed the multicolored throw on the ladder as well here, but I did end up taking it off just to give it a more simplistic look. Don't worry, when I decorate for Christmas, I will likely remove this toad and add some chunky knit throws to cozy it up. And just for anyone who doesn't know, I do work a full-time job Monday through Friday. Besides YouTube, I do work from home during the week. And this is the first year that I've had a desk during the fall time. And since it's in our living room, I decided to go ahead and add a few simple touches of fall to complete this space. All right, you guys, it is the moment you've been waiting for. I'm gonna go ahead and light this fall scented candle. This specific one is from Bath & Body Works and it is the perfect autumn scent. It smells so good. And then I'm gonna give you a quick farmhouse fall home tour of how everything turned out in our living room area. I am so excited to be sharing part one of my 2021 fall decorate with me. And I'm hoping today's video really gives you all some motivation and inspires you all to decorate your own homes for fall or it gives you some fall decorating ideas on other things that you could do or things that you could purchase to make your home perfect for the fall season. I would love to know what area or areas are your favorite, so please make sure to comment down below and make sure to head to my description box for links to as much decor as I can find from today's video. Also, make sure to snag your free cleaning bundle from Grove Collaborative if you haven't already and check out some of my other recent fall related videos that I've shared this year. Before you go, make sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on your bell notifications so you get notified as soon as part two of my fall decorating series goes live. Lastly, if you have any friends or family that you know would like today's video, please be sure to send them the link or share my channel with them. And I hope you all have a great rest of your day and I cannot wait to see you all back here very soon for some more decorating and cleaning motivation. Bye you guys.